Hi, in this video we're gonna understand how to merge objects from two different files. So guys, two different TSR files, we will be merging them. Now you might be thinking, what is TSR files? Guys, TSR files are test shared repository files. If you want to export objects of your repository in any file, that file is called TSR file. Let's say this test case is empty. I don't want to do any recording and I want objects to get registered in the object repository. As we understand, we cannot have objects in the object repository until or unless it is added or you have recorded something. If you recorded something, by default, it will get added into your object repository. But right now, my object repository is empty. If you want to check that, we can go to resources, object repository. And here we have empty object repository. Now I have two options. Number one, I can go ahead and record everything and then the object will be automatically get registered in my repository. I do want to do that. So now what choice I am left with? I can import objects from TSR files. If we have already created TSR files with object, I can import those objects from TSR files into my repository. Now, in this video, we will be understanding how to merge two TSR files. Let's say I have two TSR files. In my first TSR files, I have object for login module, that is username, password, OK button. And in my another TSR file, I have object for flight booking module, that is fly from, fly to, date, class, finding the flight button, passenger name. I have all those objects in my TSR2 file. Now, I want both of the TSR files to get merged and give me complete list of objects in my object repository. In order to do so, you have an option of merging two TSR files. For that, we can go to resources, we can go to object repository manager, go to tools. So here you have option of object repository merge tool, we'll click on that. You will get two options, primary file, secondary file. Point to be noted that you can merge maximum two files at a time. You cannot merge more than that. So we'll click on this sign over here. We can choose repository one dot TSR, although you can click on the browse option also, and then it will navigate you to the operating system where your TSR files are stored. So as a primary file, I'm choosing repository one dot TSR. In this, I have all the object of login module. And in my secondary file, I'll be choosing repository 2.dsr in which I have all the objects of flight booking module. So I'll click on this. Here, I'm going to click on OK button. Look at this. This is merge statistics. That means it will let you know the complete report that both of the file have no conflicts. That means both of the file have zero different objects with same name zero test objects with identical description, zero test object with similar description. So there is no conflict in both of the files. So this is your merge summary. We can click on close button and here you have both of them. So this is your repository one.tsr. If you expand this, look at this, we have these objects in it. That is agent name, password, OK button. If you expand this, let's drag this side. These are the objects of your flight booking module so both of the TSRs are merged now so now we have merged to TSRs but still if you will look at your object repository you have no object over there reason being because we have merged it but we have to right now associate it with our object repository too in order to associate that merged TSR file with your object repository so we'll go to resources associate repositories we'll click on that and here you will be adding that repository. So we'll click on plus sign, go to merge.tsr. This is the file which we have created after merging two repositories. So we'll click on open. We will send this action to associate action. Click on OK. Now we'll go to resources and check for it. Object repository. Look at this. Now we have all the objects imported into my object repository if you want to check it from here look at this we have all objects local objects if you click on local objects you have nothing but when we click on merge.tsr we have all the objects over here and this is non-editable that means this is read only you cannot edit these objects so guys this is how you can merge and also you can associate that with your object repository
That's all for this video. Thanks for now.